What's up, zookeepers? Welcome back to a comparison, uh, opinion, and what to buy video. As you can see, we is outside today. I want to take these things outside, man, because these are portable systems, and I wanted you to see that what is the pros and cons for these systems. They belong portable outside. Everyone's got the unique feature to them. I'm gonna explain some of the different versions I got. Um, I got a, another one of the one third of the Gorilla Squad that's gonna help me out with this video. What's up, Zookeepers? How y'all doing? So let me tell you a little bit about what's on the table. We got the original white OLED switch. We got a Asus Rogue Ally. It just came out about two months ago. We got the 512 gigabyte version of the Steam Deck, which is the most powerful is one. We have the 256 gig. That Steam Deck uh, has been upgraded by the other one third of the Gorilla Squad, Corey. He put a one terabyte memory card in there. He got a heat sink uh, case on the back that dispersed the heat right out the back. Um, it got texture mouse pad grips, as you can see in the front. It's got a case with a kickstand because they don't um, come with the kickstand. So that console, and it's also got Windows installed on it. So with Windows installed, it got Epic Games on it. Um, it still has Steam games. So it's got a whole list. It's almost essentially a jailbroke Steam Deck. And the 512 version is a regular Steam Deck. I want to have a regular uh, operating Steam Deck, but a powerful one just to do some comparison and like I said the Roll Ally came out I didn't have a little time with it um, and of course the Switch have been released in 2017 but not the OLED um, the OLED came out I think in 21 my opinion is if you are a computer guy which that would be one of the only reason computer guys are tech guys the only reason only um, people who would know about a Steam Deck or a Rode Ally. Those are for you. If you are a casual gamer who want the experience of playing games on the go, the Switch, in my opinion, is the way to go. And I'm going to tell you why. My nephew going to help me out with some of this stuff. Uh, on the Rode Ally, between the Rode Ally and the Steam Deck, I found it a little bit more user friendly on the Rogue Ally. A lot of people who have had the Steam Deck, they end up selling their Steam Deck for a Rogue Ally. Ally is a bit easier on the operating system, but still it has its tweaks. It is played with its problems. One third of the Gorilla Squad do a whole breakdown on the, the heat sinks. Um, the upgrading, the troubleshooting, it plays with um, bugs on it. Steam Deck is a more comfortable console in your hand versus the Rogue Ally. Um, taking it portable, um, playing it on the go, I would, I, my hands is more comfortable with a Steam Deck. And the original way the Steam Deck come, I, I would give my um, recommendation to keep the Steam Deck as basic as possible. So once you upload Windows to it, once you uh, unlock and put some, all of these, even the Switch, can do emulations. That is, this is not a video on emulations. But because my 256 gig has been upgraded and has been, um, maxed out to the capacity i can talk about emulations but once you put emulations on it once you install windows epic games steam it runs slower um it takes time to upload games which i don't like um and so that's that's part of my problems with the handheld console um the the 512 gig runs about um, $600. The 250, um, gig, 256 gig runs about $500. The Rode Ally introduced for $700. Um, 
Now, when you're talking about 350 for an OLED switch, that cuts down over half of the price, especially with the Rode Ally. So if you are a pick up and play type gamer, if you want a decent experience, now the visuals is not gonna be up to par with a Rode Ally or a Steam Deck. I am not here to convince you that the Switch is on par with these, but the interface, the working mechanics, the uh, portability, the, the convenience of just putting the game in or downloading it, hit, hitting the uh, icon and immediately going into the game, you can't beat the Switch. Actually, the Switch came out first and these consoles is a result or the success of the Switch. They wanted to bring a PC version to like the Switch. And of course, the Rode Ally and the Steam Deck has a dock to where you can hook it up to a TV just like the Switch. So, all of these consoles is very similar. All of them bring different things to the table. My opinion is don't spend that type of money for a Steam Deck or a Rode Ally unless you are a tech head, computer head, and a visual guy. That's the only thing that you're going to get out of those two systems is a better visual uh, gaming uh, experience and you got more technical capabilities as tweaking your games, making it run faster, the better images on the switch whereas the switch is just it's standard it ain't no <laughs> it ain't no 4k 60 it ain't no 4k 30 it just you get what you get but to me i like the convenience of putting in the game or downloading the game and it automatically picks up now i'm going to turn this video over to my nephew for a little bit cam tell him what you think about it all right zoo keepers so what i think about them um if somebody came up to me and say, hey Cam, I'm looking at the Steam Deck, the Wild Ally, and the Switch, which is the better overall package, which one should I buy? They all got pros and cons, different pros and cons. Um, the cons of each of these systems is pretty severe. Um, so that definitely can impact your decision. If I had to pick one, it would be the Ally. It's the most superior one in terms of hardware. It has a Zen 4 AMD Ryzen CPU, whereas the Steam Deck only has a Zen 2. AMD Ryzen. The Switch has a custom NVIDIA uh, CPU, which is not as strong, but it's doable. In terms of the graphics, for the Ally, it support RDNA 3, whereas the Steam Deck support RDA 2. So they, they still very powerful, but obviously you're gonna get more performance out of the Ally. Like Silverback mentioned, the Wild Ally um, has a lot of heart rate issues, especially with overheating. So that can be a major, major on con for you. I just like the Ally. It's user friendly. It comes with Windows, and most people are familiar with Windows and Steam Deck. So if somebody asks me which one to buy, in my opinion, I'm gonna choose the Ally. Now, um, I agree with what my nephew said, and and uh, the Rode Ally is very visually appealing. I forgot to mention it got RBG lights on it. Um, it is a very sleeker console, um, but like we both mentioned you got hardware issues as of right now um i'm pretty sure it's gonna be a version released if they um do a, a point a version point two that that uh, uh, deviate the problems of the hardware um and like my nephew he's into the technical uh, aspect of the world and that's that's a that's one of the reasons why he picked the row ally over the switch and again that's what i said if you are a computer head, a tech head, if you are looking for the best visual, you will gravitate to the Roll Ally or the Steam Deck. And I told you this Roll Ally is better than the Steam Deck out of the two. But for the casual gamer zookeepers, for the what this video is intended for, my gamers don't get the Rogue Ally or the Steam Deck get you a Nintendo Switch. Your overall portable gaming experience will be a lot better because once the Steam Deck or the Rogue Ally crashes, you have to look up tutorials to get it back running. Once your game 
freezes, you have to reboot the system. It rarely ever seldom that a Nintendo Switch crashes. Um, and I do know it do freezes because my daughter play it a lot. It don't freeze often, but I know it do freeze. But um, that's just my opinion. I chose to the, the uh, Switch OLED. My nephew, he chose to roll Ally. He's a, in a different generation than I am. And that's what we want to bring you a, a comparison video, an opinion based video, and a recommendation video all in one. And anything else you want to add, nephew? Well, um, I love emulation. And um, it is a risk. Now, the, the switch is more stable, it's more reliable. You're not gonna have too many defects. So even though you can emulate on the switch, um, Silverback, as y'all know, he does have a jailbroken switch that can emulate. Um, Facts. Many people, they just want to pick up and play. They don't want to get a jailbroken. They don't want to, you know, do no exploits. They just want to pick up and play. So that's why I would recommend for emulation the Wire Ally. Even though um, it has heating problems, heating issues, but as a Steam Deck, since you install the Windows, then you have to emulate, it can be heavy on the GPU and CPU, which slows it down, like mm -hmm. Superbet once said. But since you have more power with the Wire Ally, you have a little bit more power to support that emulation. And I agree. I love your pick. I love the Roll Ally versus the Steam Deck. Um, but like I like I had mentioned, um, playing it, the Steam Deck feel better in the hand. Um, I agree with everything, nephew. And I'm you know I'm glad we was able to bring you this video outside. Y'all see this pool? Look, once we get through oh, filming yeah. this video, best believe we finna hop in this pool. We finna cool off. We finna game. Yeah, we finna, we finna, finna, game, finna game. Sitting on these steps. And that's why we want to bring y'all this video outside because a lot of people that we see on YouTube don't take these consoles outside. These are portable consoles. They are meant to be taken anywhere. Not portable just in your house. They are outside capable consoles and as you can see we are outside so zookeepers that's it tell a friend to tell a friend please comment like and subscribe i love bringing y'all these videos with my nephew to give y'all a different perspective silverback is not always right uh, silverback can only give you his educated recommendation that doesn't mean my recommendation is meant for everybody out there so with that being said, you got anything to say, nephew? If you love traveling, if you love gaming, you in the right place. Facts. Facts. So we been on our chest. There go Caesar. Y'all seen me escape from the cage. <laughs> and I'm out. <laughs>